All right, hello, good morning, and welcome to the inside of our new rig. We have already started customizing this rig to fit our needs perfectly. We have had it four days. But today we are in the master bedroom. Now, Katie works, she's a mobile employee, and so we have to have a space for her. We really went back and forth between having the mid bunk be a workspace and, uh, or is that Madison's room? And I think as we've looked more towards the long term, uh, the full time uh, RVing, we think that it's very important for Madison to have her own space. So we have given the mid bunk to Madison say for some storage for all of us, but mostly that's gonna be Madison's room, playroom, sleep room, nap room, whatever. One of the things we loved about this specific unit was this front cab area. This front cab has an area for our washer and dryer hookup. Now, we probably will not have a washer and dryer from all the things I've seen. Nobody really thinks that having a washer and dryer is good um, in a unit. It's, it's too expensive, it takes forever to dry clothes, you use a lot of water, there's just too many downsides uh, as to going to a laundromat or if you're boondocking somebody's place you use theirs or whatever. So we probably will not. So there was this idea, this thought, that we were going to take that area and turn that into a workspace. Uh, the only problem with that is the way that it is set up. As you can see, there's this kind of lip up and then lip in where it's a little too difficult to put a desk uh, and you'll probably be a bit claustrophobic. So our other option was to turn sideways and face out this window here. Um, that seems to be the best option. So we did a bunch of research trying to find a table an end table, a desk, a piece of plywood, something that would fit in this space comfortably to have a workspace. Katie is much shorter and much smaller than I am, so where I would sit in a chair at a desk and where she would sit at a chair at a desk is two, two totally different things. So uh, I had her come in here and she sat down and we looked at it all uh, using this um, folding chair for reference. We did finally stumble upon a desk at Ikea. It is a very small desk that has a metal leg on one side and a solid wood stand or leg on the other side. It's just one giant, like, solid leg. Uh, here's a picture of the desk. Um, Katie remembers that she actually had a, a little bit of a larger version of this same desk in California, when she lived in California. And so she was saying that I think the leg, the metal leg, comes off, like you can modify it or whatnot. And you'll see we have this kind of weird space here, and I believe this is for the washer and dryer hookups, like drainage and stuff like that. Um, there's probably electrical wires and things that all come in this little cubby here. So the metal leg would get in the way. Um, so what we decided to do was if we got, got the desk, we could take the metal leg off and then just mount it to the side of the dresser. So let me go ahead and show you kind of what I'm talking about uh, so you'll get a better idea of, of kind of where I'm at. So this is the front closet area. And this is kind of the space that we're working with here. And the idea originally was we open this here, you see you got a nice big space. We've already started moving in some of our winter clothes. But basically we would build something here, but you see there's a lip here, then there's a lip here, and then there's the floor. And how do you build something that fits this? So then I decided, why don't we move this direction? And if we move this direction, facing out the window, how much space do we have? So we have this Costco folding chair that I put here. We'll close this back up to give you a better idea. So I have this idea. Okay, that's not a bad space. 
albeit a bit small, but it's really not that bad of a space. You tuck it in, you still have a good amount of walkway space to get to your closets, etc. Big closets and drawers over here. So this is what we decided to go with. I measured it out and we started looking for any sort of table, chair, end table, coffee nook, anything we could find that would fit in here. And we found an Ikea desk. So with this lip here and then this lip here, my thought was to cut that out of the left side of the desk so it'll sit snug there up against this wall here and then we'll just mount it to the side here we will take the metal leg off of the side here and we can just take some l brackets mount it up here mount it back here so now you have a free space here so there's no leg here so you don't have to you know worry about a leg there it'll be you know nice and secure here uh, up against this so last night we went to Ikea and here is the desk. I built it this morning. Uh, I did not record that because Madison was there and to record, build an Ikea desk and have a toddler that wants to quote unquote help you build, uh, that was a little too much. So this right here is technically where the right side of the leg goes. So it's technically, it's on its side like this. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cut, I'm gonna measure this out, and cut that notch out there so that it's at the correct height, but sitting on top of this and this. The other side of this coin is that this, this folding chair is not comfortable to sit at long-term for a, a day's worth of work. So we went to Office Depot and sat in a bunch of different chairs. We found one we liked that we think is small enough. We measured some measurements, but it's kind of hard because the measurements they give you, you don't really know what those measurements are. Is that the foot width or is that, you know, the wheels, the caster wheels? And is that that footprint? Are you talking about the seat width? Are you measuring from the outside of the armrests? I mean, there's, there's a lot of things that go into it. We found one we think will work. I need to go build it. Um, Madison just went down for a nap. This is all done. I need to cut this up though. Um, but Madison just went down for a nap and Katie's on a call right now. So I have a very limited amount of time to get some things done um, before the baby wakes up again. Okay, so we just left you here in the front cap, leaving this. I'm gonna go work on the chair. I wanna build the chair. As you can see, we have a ton of stuff that needs to find a home, but we're really narrowing down what's coming. Of course, Stormtrooper helmet, I mean, that's like a given. Uh, and like I said, all this storage here, um, a couple of these, the ones that have the little white tags on them, those have something in them. The rest of them are empty. So we still have a good amount of stuff. Um, all of Madison's stuff we need to figure out. This is the nerd box. It's got Lord of the Rings, Medieval Times, a bunch of like video game posters, and it goes right next to the Stormtrooper helmet up top. That's gonna be like Rob's Nerd Nook. I'm gonna make a little plaque that goes up here. It says Rob's Nerd Nook. So, that's me, I'm Rob, wearing my Zelda shirt. Kawaii! The weather does not look very cooperative, so it might start raining. So I'm gonna try and move some of this stuff out of the way. Um, I need the light though in here. So I'm gonna try and move some of this stuff and build this as fast as I can, put you in a time lapse and uh, listen to some music, shall you? So as you can see, I'm putting together this chair, which ultimately ended up being way too big for the space. I even tried by putting the armrest on backwards to see if that would give us a little bit more tuck under the desk ability, uh, but that was a no. Big fail, doesn't work out. We ended up not using this chair. All right, there she is. 
Okay, as you can see, I am hot and sweaty. That's because I was putting together that chair, which uh, barely fits in here, but that's a story for another day. Uh, I also measured up this notch we need to cut out, and I lined it up here. So we have 11 on a height, four and three quarter deep, and then five inches is this ledge right here. That's five inches tall. And then we got four and three quarters deep and 11 high. So uh, we're basically, I marked it out on here. We're just gonna cut that off and cut this notch out. And then that should fit nice and snugly here. And then up here, what we'll do is we'll just uh, probably run a, just a bolt right through here, boom, boom. Right through there and then right on in the inside here. Uh, it is, as you can see, the sweat just pouring down my face. Um, it is March 23rd and it is all of like 92 degrees outside with 100% humidity. So spring has sprung and the sweating has begun. Welcome to Florida, that's why we're leaving. Okay, we cut it up. And uh, I'm gonna bring it in. Let's see if it fits here. Here she comes. Too many boxes in the way. All right. She should slide right in. Basically set. Oh, I didn't think about the knob for the, well, it's not a problem, it's just, didn't account for this because I'm not smart. The problem is this knob right here, which uh, opens up the window. Okay, well we're going to have to keep playing around with this, but this is the general idea. Some time later. All right. We have come a ways. We got the desk installed, and check this out. We got the power strip in here, and the power strip runs up through the desk. We cut a hole here, and it goes back here behind the drawers, comes out here, and there we go. Boom, now we got power to the desk. What you thinking? It looks great. I. Um... I gotta say, for all of the modifications we did, I'm really, really, really happy with it. Yeah. I think that, you know, for what we were working with such a small space and everything else, that this is honestly best case scenario. Yep. But it looks awesome. Yep. Exactly 69 days later. All right, and here it is, our finished desk. Now, today is actually May 31st, and we have been working at this desk every day since Rob originally built it. Um, I'll tell you, it has been a great workspace. I really love the fact that we overlook the window so I can actually see out and see Madison playing and all of the fun things that they're getting up to while I am stuck working. Um, but it's wonderful because it's a great landing pad for both Rob and I to be able to interchange our working space. All right, so as you can see, one of the first things that we did was we actually changed the chair out. Uh, we were really, really struggling with the larger chair and trying to manage that along with the bed because this is a very small space especially trying to figure out what to do with the chair on travel days so we ended up going with one of these heavier duty folding chairs uh, we also did purchase a seat cushion that's supposed to make it a little bit more comfortable uh, i say supposed to because it is still a folding chair so we're still looking maybe for some different alternatives in the future but for now it'll do all right so I'm gonna take over from here. Now that we've got the desk build out of the way and taken care of, let's go ahead and look at some of the more technical stuff we have going on with this setup. So here on the left, we kind of have our media hub. It's got a couple of USBs in the front and a USB type C. Uh, this is Katie's plug-in for her laptop. So as she sets her laptop here, or as I set my laptop here, now I'm a little bit more mobile than she is with my laptop, so I kind of rummage around, so I don't leave my charger here, but her charger does have a permanent location here. She lays her laptop here. This plugs in, and that basically goes to this hub, 
that has our second monitor plug in, our ethernet, which I'll get to that in a second, the mouse, the keyboard, and then any peripherals like a headset or anything like that as well. So we do have a mechanical keyboard here because gamers. We also have an MMO gaming mouse here because gamers. This laptop uh, stand does move quite a lot. So her laptop's a little bit smaller than mine. Mine being a gaming laptop uh, is, is a little bit of a bigger screen. So I need to kind of move this around and change the angle. Uh, but that's something that was really, really nice. Now this setup does run off of our hotspot. So this is our hotspot here. It's a Alcatel Link Zone 2. And this runs on T-Mobile Towers plugged into this, which is a GL iNet um, mobile, and that's very important. It is a mobile router. So basically this does send out a Wi-Fi signal running off of this hotspot. So it's basically like tethering it. And lastly, we have our Asus 144 Hertz secondary monitor here. Um, this is a game changer for anybody that does any video editing, uh, or much like Katie, if you have to have a lot of screens to compare notes and and different um, measurements. It's really nice to have. So the only thing that moves in this setup on travel days is this monitor. It does come off of the dresser here. And as this bed slide comes in, we just set it right here on the bottom, uh, kind of in this little nook right here. So it doesn't jostle around as we move. Um, and then the chair also does fold up and go down there as well. All right, so this workspace we sit at all the time. I work from here primarily, working from home for eight hours a day. Rob sits here, edits videos more than you can imagine. And I think given the space that we have, this is perfect for us. We have spent so much time trying to figure out the perfect rig for our family, what's gonna work for Madison, what's gonna work for us, how we're gonna work from home. And I think having this segregated space up in the bedroom, which is up two stairs and behind a door, is secluded enough to make sure that you are focused on whatever work you're doing, whether that be my work from home, Rob's video editing, whatever the case is. It's perfectly separated from the rest of the rig. And given the amount of space that we have, I think that it's spacious enough. Now, the desk is only a 30 by 20. It's not big, but you know, for what we need, it's plenty. Work, 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 work. Hello, boys. 